It's time for business news with Richard Southern. We're paying more for virtually everything in the grocery store these days, but the price of one particular item is holding relatively steady, Richard. Yeah, you know what it is? It's that one item you, you often smell when you're walking around the grocery store, Erica. It's the delicious rotisserie chicken that we love so much. It stayed pretty much the same price, even though the cost of you know raw chicken has gone up more than 16% year on year. But grocers, they don't wanna hike the price of rotisserie chicken. The reason, uh, it is an all important item, a prized item for the supermarkets. It draws customers into the store. People go in to buy the cheap chicken and when they're there, they often buy other things to go with it. And maybe some drinks and gum and toilet paper too. It's an important, what they call loss leader for the likes of Costco and Loblaws and Metro. And so they're willing to keep this the same price, perhaps uh, hiking the price on other items uh, to stave off some of the losses. Erica, it's also the case too, that grocers know that consumers are well aware of the price of the chicken. So if it were to go up, you would notice that as a customer. They don't want that to happen. Yeah. So thank goodness we still have those cheap rotisseries. Interesting. Okay, supply chain problems have hampered the video game industry throughout the pandemic, but it sounds like Sony is ready to turn the page on those issues, Richard. Yeah, the PlayStation 5 has been like the hot commodity the last year or two, right? You can't get one. It's because of the supply chain issues and component shortages. But Sony came out today saying, that problem's behind us. We're going to ramp up production of this new PlayStation 5 video game console, and we expect there to be a lot more on store shelves in the coming months. The PS5 has actually been underselling the PS4 because of the shortage, but that's expected to change. Sony today also said it's ready to boost the number of video games in its portfolio to include more titles on PC and mobile. You know, as phones become more high tech, a lot of people are playing their video games on their smartphones now as opposed to the consoles. Sony wants a piece of that. Gamers, Erica. I guess, will be happy. It's still a foreign thing to me, though. <laughs> okay, and 100%. finally, Elon Musk is continuing his quest to buy Twitter. Apparently, I mean, there were big questions about whether or not he was going to buy this thing last week. He said he was putting the deal on hold until uh, Twitter could say how many fake accounts there were. Today, though, in a filing, we found out that Elon Musk increased his commitment in his takeover bid to $33.5 billion. He's kicking in more money. And analysts say this is an indication that he is serious about buying the service. At the same time, though, this afternoon, Twitter shareholders have launched a proposed class action lawsuit accusing Elon Musk of unlawful conduct amid him, you know, sowing doubt about whether or not he does plan to buy Twitter. So that's the latest in that saga, Erica. Okay. Thanks, Richard. That's business editor Richard Southern. Thank you.